we just say who you are to the Palestinian Telegraph and all the readers? Yeah, hi, my name is Farouk Jinwala. I'm a local resident here in Gloucester. And um, I drove to Gaza recently with a convoy from England. We had about 107 vehicles, 250 people. We drove through Europe and then North Africa all across, um, delivering aid and the vans to Gaza. And then hopefully we're going to do it again, October 4th. There'll be another convoy to watch your space. There's also a convoy leaving from America with uh, Rod Povich and lots of American supporters, hopefully, on July the 4th on Independence Day. We didn't really get much press coverage. We had the documentary maker come along with us and it was shown on press TV. Press TV yeah. um, but other than that, no, there are little mentions. What do you think of our corporate media coverage of Berg? I don't mind really because it was the people along the way we met. And it was to raise awareness along the way. We saw that even though governments weren't doing much, the response from the locals on the streets, especially going from North Africa, was amazing. Um, Every single body wanted to go along and help, but they were just not allowed to or couldn't due yeah. to restrictions, political, geographical restrictions, and they've got them. But uh, the support is there. The people in Gaza were really glad that we came. Oh. The people in Gaza were really glad that we actually came as people, not just sent aid over or sent money over. They were more interested in us yeah. being there, and they treated us like you know guests. You know, Arab hospitality is the best. In there, they beat everybody else, you know, when it comes to it. But um, you know, they, were, they were just happy that we came to visit them, that people out there in the world actually remember them and came to visit. It's like, you know, if you're ill, you're sitting at home, you're alone, if somebody comes to visit you, brightens up your day. That's a simple sort of analogy here. And this is, you know, people, so many people in the land, in the lot, in a piece of land which are locked in there, basically like prisoners. But yeah, a lot of work still needs to be done. They, you know, we can try and pressurize the Egyptians and the Israelis to just allow cementing so they can start rebuilding. They're not even allowed to rebuild. People, like you saw earlier on, you know, they want to live peacefully. They just want to live a life. Exactly. Their children want to grow up, play, rather than worry about what was going on. When we, while we were there, we saw white phosphorus still burning on the ground. You know, their, their claims that they weren't using it, you know, goes totally against them. You know, but yeah, July the 4th, October the 4th, and you know, anything else that will happen as well along the way. Thanks. Thank you.